Welcome back to the Chammy. The only Chammy where vampires will love you forever. Today I'm going to be doing a review on Cat Woo's 34 inch U part wig and what possessed me to get this piece was a review on Amazon that said $159 for 159 hairs and I was hooked. So we're going to find out right now if that $159 wig has 159 hairs, so stay tuned. I know, so up topic. No music, no tarot, no ghosties. Well, maybe ghosties. So I got my scissors. I got the wig right here. It looks more like this piece is definitely um, more than 159 hairs, but we're going to definitely find out. So this should be interesting. You think that you're something too. So maybe this is 159 hairs. Wow. So we'll just have to we'll just have to take it out and see what it looks like. It ain't no glam seamless, that's for sure. <laughs> That is so very thin. But, you know, we'll just have to see how it looks. I haven't completely taken it out of the packaging yet. The netting is like stuck in. It's quite beautiful. It is uh, definitely not 159 hairs. Okay, I can definitely tell this is definitely not a horse. But no, you just never know. So we're just gonna check. I'm just gonna get my trusty lighter and we're gonna check. Oh, it's too bad that it's not. So I don't think that we can name a vampire. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the lighter and we're gonna test this hair and see if it really is real. It's nagged off a little bit of the hair. Um, oh yeah, that's turning straight to ash. Oh, oh yeah, that's hair. Oh yeah, that's hair. I don't know about 159 hairs, but I have had very long hair, like this very long virgin hair to here, about 40 inches. The longer it is, the thinner the ends are gonna be naturally. You can see how beautiful the color is. It's very soft. There's no bad smell. I'd really love to see what this hair might look like using a high dollar luxury shampoo conditioner like Rodin and Fields. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and install the piece, see how easy it's gonna be to install the piece. There are no clip-ins in it, so I might have to actually sew some uh, Glam Seamless clip-ins in, which I have plenty of, and who knows, um, maybe some more wefts if there's space, but I like, I like the density. I wouldn't say this is 159 hairs at all, none at all. It's very beautiful. You can see that color is so natural. Um, the shine is gorgeous. It's very soft. So yeah, I like I like this. I mean, it's not it's not no Transylvania. Um, we can't call her, you know, vampire black number one. But um, she is very lovely. So I'm gonna go ahead and install her now and get the items we would need to install her and cut this band off. And we'll just go from there. I'm not really sure if I'm liking these clips. I'm not sure they're gonna stay in my um, fine European hair, but we'll see. I went ahead and clipped the elastic. I just didn't see a future with it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and create the U part on my head best I can in this terrible lighting. I see how far it would go with this piece. I've never done this before, so I'm just kind of using my inner compass. <laughs> yes, my inner compass. That's usually always what I do when I start messing around with hair pieces. I'm not really sure how this comb is gonna um, react with my fine European hair. 
But uh, like I said, I might have to go ahead and get some clip it, like actual clip clip ons. Because I don't think it's gonna. I don't think the combs are gonna be enough. This actually feels a little too big for my head. I'll probably have to do surgery on it. Because, um, I think that this could be like a, a definite keeper, but I'll definitely have to play around with it. I really just wanted to get it to see how, I wanted to see $159 for $159 here. I know that sounds ridiculous, but, is my prerogative, right? Like Bobby Brown, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it needs a lot of work. It does need a lot of work. I'm definitely not going to be wearing a wig cap under this. Hell no. So I'll probably have to just braid up my hair and just leave my bangs, let them hang. So maybe I'll just start wearing wearing this all the time now. I don't know. I'll just have to see. So if you're interested in the 34-inch <laughs> cap off, you part wig that has that silly review. Um, get it, because it's not that bad. I mean, you know, and if, and if all else fails, you can just add some, you can just add some, um, well, webs in it. So I do have 34 inch glam seamless webs, so maybe I'll just, I don't know. Play Godiva for a day. Or did she have blonde hair? I don't know. Thanks so much for watching this silly video. <laughs> I know some of you have been wanting me to do a hair video for a long time. I never got around to making a hair painting video because it just didn't seem like an interesting thing to do. I didn't see anybody reviewing this U Part wig on Amazon yet, so I just thought, well, that would be fun. And it has been fun. So now back to the regularly scheduled gothic program. <laughs> it's not this hair, hair catastrophe. <laughs> this paranormal hair activity thing. Have a good night. Be safe. Kalanita. I'm actually finding it hilarious that I'm brushing this wig with a never been used flea comb. Well, I must say it's pretty. The ends in a little treatment, but just have to see where we go from here. Very lovely. I mean, I wouldn't wear it out like this unless I styled it better, but I must say that I ain't hating it. Not one bit. And that is a weird way.